It has now been one week since this horrific crash. A semi truck plowed into eight cars on I-465, killing Alana Coons and her 18-month-old twins, June and Ruby. Well, tonight, an act of kindness from strangers who saw what happened and felt compelled to help. Our Alan Carter is live tonight at Tried and True Ale House on 96th Street, well, where they're raising money for the Coons family. Alan. Well, when this tragedy happened, Jenny, it certainly touched a lot of people and inspired a lot of people to want to do something and to want to help out financially for this family. Already, their GoFundMe page has raised over $65,000, and people are still donating. One way to go ahead and do so, if you would like to help out, is to come out here and have lunch or dinner. The folks here at Tried and True Ale House doing a fundraiser because they said they just wanted to do something. So anyone that comes in here and mentions this fundraiser, 15% of those cells will go directly to the Coons family. The manager said they didn't even really know that family directly, but said it just made sense for them to try to help in this way. And we actually have um, our office manager here and also one of our servers, um, both our parents and twins. Um, so it kind of just hit home and, and, you know, they were talking to me about it and I was like, you know, it was really bad. And I was like, well, let's, you know, we have an avenue for a way to raise money and help people, you know, it, with the food sales and, and doing some donation stuff. So uh, for us, it was just a no-brainer to help the community and do whatever we could. They say that they have had quite a few people express interest, so they want to keep this fundraiser going through the rest of the week. Just make sure if that's something that you're interested in doing, if you want to come out here and help the Coons family, make sure that you mention seeing this fundraiser either on WTHR or on Facebook. Reporting live in Indy's North Side, Alan Carter, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. So heartwarming to see Hoosiers helping out. Alan, thank you for that live report tonight.